Hello. If you are like me, you may be lucky enough to have a new NVIDIA 3000 series card. These cards are great for gaming, video editing, rendering, and of course, machine learning. However, unfortunately, due to these cards being new, many popular software packages do not yet support these new cards. This is because they do not have CUDA 11 and the software binaries at this time. This is the case with running PyTorch. Today I'm going to show you how to get PyTorch working with CUDA 11 thus allowing GPU acceleration on these new cards. I'm going to do this using Docker, but this can be done without Docker. Here we are on the GitHub page for PyTorch. If we go down to the installation section of the README, we see multiple options. However, since the binaries are not compatible, we need to look to how to install from source. This section is mostly useful, but some edits and additional steps are needed in order to get PyTorch working. One of the requirements for a fast PyTorch is the inclusion of the CUDNN library. CUDNN provides highly tuned implementations for standard routines such as forward and backward convolution, pooling, normalization, and activation layer layers. Thus, for the best performance, we need to download this and include it in CUDA. As we can see, CPU is the slowest, GPU is much faster, but then by including CUDNN library, we get even faster. The CUDNN library requires one to create an NVIDIA account to download. If you do not have an account, please create one. After which, we must accept the terms of use, and then we are able to download the CUDNN package. This will then be used later to install with CUDA. Select the appropriate one. Here we have a Docker file that I use for a project that needs both PyTorch and TorchVision. This Docker file installs needed dependencies for the project, as well as installs PyTorch and TorchVision for CUDA 11. First, I use a Docker base image that is based on Ubuntu 16. This Docker image also has a VNC connection. Next, I set the user root to easily install software. I then set uh, the shell to bash and set environment variables to easily use conda as well as use the GPU inside the container. I then install some packages. These are not needed but are used for other parts of my project. I then download and install Anaconda. While this step is not needed, it makes using PyTorch or other packages much easier. Thus I recommend it. Next, I use wget to download the latest version of CUDA. I then make it runnable and install just the toolkit silently using the appropriate flags. I only install the toolkit and not the drivers, as this is inside of a Docker container. If used outside of a Docker container, you'll want to install both the drivers and the toolkit by removing the toolkit flag. Next, we take the CUDNN package we downloaded earlier and we copy it to the Docker container. We then unzip it and copy the appropriate files to the appropriate code locations and apply the appropriate permissions on those files. After copying these files to the CUDA directory, CUDNN is now installed. Next, we clone PyTorch and all its nested sub modules. Likewise, we clone the latest version of PyTorch. Next, we set the Anaconda environment. The only important lines for the PyTorch installation are both line 66 and line 72 of this Docker file. These lines install the required packages for GPU acceleration for PyTorch. Please note that we are installing Magma CUDA 110 for CUDA 11, which is different from what is listed on the GitHub page. The next relevant part of the Docker file is with regards to installing PyTorch. We first CD into the PyTorch directory, and then we activate the content environment where we install the needed dependencies for PyTorch. We then run Python setup py develop and python-c import torch. This is different from what is listed on the GitHub page, but is required in order to import the packages after they are done compiling. This section will take a very long time to compile. But afterwards, PyTorch will now work with CUDA 11 and the new RTX 3000 series. Now that PyTorch is installed, 
the rest of the Docker image deals with Torch Vision as well as other commonly used Python libraries. The next section deals with the issue of getting OpenCV to work with this image. Since OpenCV is a popular library for PyTorch, I will go into it. The issue was basically not having the new enough library for OpenCV. By installing libstdc++6 from a different repo, we were able to solve this issue, just in case you wanted to use OpenCV with this version uh, of the Docker image that I built here. Next, we install Python 3 setup tools. This is required for the setup of Torch Vision. Lastly, we install Torch Vision. We do this by entering the vision directory we got from GitHub and by acting our Connor environment. And then we run Python setup.py develop, similar to how we installed PyTorch. This will be much quicker than PyTorch, but will still take a good bit of time. At this point, both PyTorch and Torch Vision are now installed. Here we have the running Docker image from the doc file I just showed. I will now show that both Torch and Torch Vision are installed using the Python shell. Import Torch, it all works. Import Torch Vision, it works. And then if we do torch.cuda. Is avail available. We get true. So now we can see Torch is installed, Torch version is installed, and CUDA is available. So now we have Torch and Torch version working on the 3000 series. Thank you for watching.